booby flap trans teacher with Z size prosthetic breasts dresses as man outside of school. Neighbor. A Canadian teacher who made international headlines for wearing gigantic prosthetic breasts rarely wears them outside of school, raising questions about whether the vulgar costume is just an act. While parents have raged about transgender teacher Kayla Lemieux being allowed to wear Z-cup prosthetics in front of students, the shop teacher was spotted ditching the controversial fetishistic fashion after work and stepping out in public dressed as a man. He wears prosthetic breasts extremely infrequently, a resident of Lemieux's apartment complex told the Post. He puts the breasts on to teach, occasionally when he goes for a walk or when the cops visit. Both uniformed and plainclothes police do regular welfare checks at Lemieux's apartment after they received death threats, according to a law enforcement source. The teacher, who until a few years ago went by the name Carrie, left Ontario's Oakville Trafalgar High School this week wearing the gigantic breasts, a blonde wig and glasses, but it wasn't long until the cartoonish clothing came off. After shopping at a department store and pet supplies shop dressed as a woman, Lomu headed home to get changed and emerged dressed as a man 30 minutes later. Lomu then spent the afternoon in public wearing men's sweatpants, drainers, a gray t-shirt and a navy puffer vest without breasts, makeup, glasses or wig. According to Lemieux's neighbor, who asked not to be identified for fear of backlash, the transgender teacher was first seen parading gigantic prosthetic breasts while walking along a busy road in their neighborhood last May. I was driving past. You can see the breasts from so far away when you're driving, he said. He put the whole outfit on and just walked up and down Galf line, no bags, just walking. Everyone slows down because you can't believe what they're seeing. The neighbor has since seen Lemieux leave the apartment complex dressed as a man more often than as a woman. Pictures and videos of Lemieux sparked serious complaints from parents that someone with such an outlandish look was not suitable for teaching their children, and was distracting them from learning. The attention it brought to the school was also unwelcome, leading to bomb threats and a heavy police presence on campus. Enraged Oakville parents Lena Close told the Post, I was shocked to learn, Lemieux, appears in public as a male. The school has been adamant in telling parents this is a transitioning teacher who needs to express themselves as a woman. Lemieux's appearance at school is unprofessional, offensive and has caused chaos in the school environment. I have an issue with Lomu choosing to dress as a male because how he appears at school has become very disruptive to the school. Why does Lomu choose to appear like he does at school when he dresses as a man in his personal time? The woke Halton District School Bard has accommodated Lomu's identity and defended the teacher's rights. The Toronto Sun reported board chair Margot Shuttleworth saying that protecting employees' gender rights is the stance the school bard is taking and they are standing behind the teacher. Parents also claimed that when Lemieux was working as a substitute teacher at another local school after sustaining a foot injury, pupils were threatened with suspension for taking pictures or videos of the teacher in prosthetics and makeup. Attempts by the Post to speak with Lemieux have not been successful. It is not clear if they have taken any legal steps to identify as a woman. The changes in Lemieux's appearance have been profound, as Facebook images from five years ago show him with a full beard. Other pictures show him posing in muscle cars and indicate he used to own a rare DMC DeLorean car. It is not transphobic to demand Lemieux lose some cup sizes before teaching impressionable children. According to the submission of transgender woman Julian Malott at a special hearing of the Halton District School Bard on Wednesday, held to debate whether a dress code for teachers should be enforced. Adults in our schools are the role models for our children, and I would expect staff would present professionalism and decorum that is at least as stringent as that which we enforce upon our students, Malott said at the School Bard meeting. So long as the dress code does not explicitly require an individual to present in alignment with birth sex, there should arise no gender expression issue arising out of standards of professionalism. The Post has obtained a section of Malat's submission that was censored by the school board, which suggested the music cup breasts are more commonly worn by female impersonators and sex workers than people transitioning.
Milot wore her own set of 34 B size silicone breasts for six months in the early stages of her transition while she waited for hormone supplements to kick in. There are also breast forms that exaggerate natural proportions and are used by the drag industry and sex workers, the censored section of the submission read. The distinction between these very different products is quite clear and a well-written professionalism policy should have no difficulty distinguishing between the two. The Houghton District School Board did not immediately return the post's request for a comment.